Happy History Mystery Monday. I am Ruth Zeger, the Executive Director of the Chagrin Falls Historical Society and Museum, and I am here to tell you about another history mystery that came upon us in February. This one is going to be a couple different videos, uh, a little bit of a series, because this took us a couple days, and so it's only fair that it takes you a couple days to finally get the answer, too. So this came through our inbox, our info at chagrinhistory.org email, which um, is through our website, and um, it is the way you can contact us with questions. Uh, we get questions all the time. This one came in on February 22nd from Dan, and he had been doing a family tree research and found out that his grandfather as a toddler lived in Chagrin Falls. He had never known this. He just found out while he was doing research. Um, so on the 1930 census, it said he lived at 86 East Washington Street. So he emailed us and he said he can't find it. And I was like, well, that's weird. I mean, we're at 87 East Washington, if you didn't know. And so, you know, I'm looking across the street and go, all well, those are not 86. And I remember people telling me that the addresses changed. Did you know the addresses changed? So I do what I normally do when I ask John Borso and I ask Pat Zalba and I say, you know, what, what is this? And they both said the addresses changed in the 1930s, so we don't know what house it was. And I said, well, there has to be a list somewhere. So there I went. I went on down on the rabbit hole to try to find where was 86 East Washington Street. You will have to stay tuned to find out next week.